Lee, awesome to have you here at Brainwave. Thank Thanks you. so much for being here. The, yeah. uh, you just finished your uh, your CMO track address, and you left us with some really important takeaways. Uh, one of the one of the things I thought was really amazing was the um, John Paul quote about success unshared is failure. Yeah. Make me a drink. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. All right, cool. um, yeah, a uh, tequila unshared would be failure too in this case. <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. So, uh, so we'll do that, and we're gonna, we're going to keep it kind of light with just a uh, tequila rocks. Okay. Um, perfect. Let's uh, let the spirit speak for itself. But yeah, you know, um, John Paul. I think that I think I mentioned it's it's firmly rooted in the ethos of the company, and it's the way John Paul has has operated. You know, he personally came from from nothing. I mean, he was homeless on the streets of L.A. and rose up to be this prolific billionaire. And I think part of his belief is that. Uh, being successful is one thing, but sharing that success with others, with the community, with your employees, um, certainly protecting the environment, the things that matter, uh, is a responsibility that comes with with that success. Absolutely. So now, Patron, um, the, I didn't I didn't realize this before your speak uh, uh, talk, but like it means the good boss. Yeah. So when you hold a glass of Patron in your hand, you're drinking the good bosses product. What does that mean? And unpack that for us a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Salud, Cheers. first of all. Salud. Yeah, yeah. It's really um, delicious, if I may say so myself. Um, right yeah, there with you. Yeah, the, uh, the name Patron, I mean, it's really interesting. Um, it does, as you say, means the good boss. And uh, there's a lot of nuance to that phrase in, in Spanish. Um, it's used as a sign of reverence. But uh, similar, I think, to John Paul's statement, there's an obligation that comes with being el patron, right? Um, a need to take care of the people around you, the things that enable you to be successful, to live the, the good life. And I think much like John Paul's quote, that's part of the responsibility that, that we feel. Um, you know, we have a product that comes from the land, and so there's a very real, I think, responsibility and an obligation to give back to the land from sort of an economic sustenance standpoint. Um, but there's a higher order, I think, responsibility as well, whether it's environmentalism um, as it relates to the, the raw materials that go into the bottle and certainly the men and women that handcraft this product because it's, it's not mechanized. You know, it's not a machine making this. It's hardworking, skilled men and women, and it's important that we invest back in, in their well-being and their development. And the, the, the craftsmanship that goes into something like a bottle of Patron, um, your 1,600 employees all have a, a piece of that um, yes. craftsmanship. Talk about how that's important for the bottom line of the business. You talked about both sides of the balance sheet, uh, sort of a moral side and yeah. a financial side. How do you how do you balance the two with such an amazing product that is such an emotional thing for people? Yeah, yeah, great question. And and we're a bit of an anomaly in the sense that you know most brands when they get at scale. Um, you look for efficiencies, and one of those efficiencies generally comes from mechanization. Um, fundamentally, and again, this goes back to some of the core operating principles and ethos of the company, is it's not about doing what's efficient, it's about what's doing right. The, the reason we have 1,600 men and women um, is because we firmly believe that it's the right thing to do when you make an uncompromising handcrafted product is to have, a, it's a very labor intensive process. Um, we talk about the fact that at minimum 60 hands touch every bottle wow. of our product, all right? Oh, so I guess assuming everybody has two hands, um, yep. <laughs> at least 30 different people at some point in the process are, are involved in the production. And that can be from harvesting the agave through, you can see on the bottle where, uh, you know, somebody has actually gone in and hand signed the label, put their signature, their name, their stamp of authenticity uh, on every bottle. And that's, you know, that's really important. Um, it's expensive though to do that, right? The, the cost of goods is, is significant. And even as I mentioned in my presentation, even with higher margin goods, we can absorb some of that, um, but the truth is we pass much of that on in a, in a higher, uh, more expensive product. Um, that's the beauty of luxury goods though. We have the ability to do that. We built a brand um, that, that is, uh, has a halo, is perceived as luxury, and we can afford uh, to do things like that, to invest in that human capital. That's great. So a lot of things we've been talking uh, uh, about this week at Brand Week has been sort of the transformation of brand marketing and the customer journey. How, uh, how does Patron have to pivot a bit to sort of 
and really stay in sync with the people who want to buy your product and yeah. it's, it's, you know save money to buy the you know, the product at a higher price point than, than something else. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one of the things uh, a real pivot for for this brand. The brand was built you know 30 years ago, and for much of its existence, really rested on sort of the swagger, right? The style of the brand, its role in popular culture. And one of the pivots we made about five years ago was a recognition that while that remains important in all luxury goods, there has to be uh, substance that sits underneath that, authenticity, right? The transparency of brands is important. And the beauty for us is that had been in our, it's part of our intrinsics from day one. What we didn't do was make it part of our extrinsics. We weren't communicating that to, to consumers. So part of this, this journey for us with our brand has been sharing with the world something that's been part of our ethos from day one, something which we weren't communicating. And so now for us, it's a balance of style and a balance of substance and communicating the fact that certainly while you feel good, while you enjoy a tequila with a friend, um, you're doing good as well. Right. Well, thanks for the drink. Yeah. And uh, thanks for being here today with us at Brand Week. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, having more. It's a real honor. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Lee. Thank you.